Well, hey everyone. A few years back, I did a video on a do-it-yourself gray water system for a cabin. I've gotten lots and lots of questions and comments about that system. And people are always asking for an update to see how it's performing. Well, I'm gonna give you that update right here and right now. And I am happy to report that the system has been working flawlessly since the day I put it in. After between five and six years of full-time use, it's still performing just like I expected it to. All right, now if you remember, that was a very, very simple system put in, dug by hand, next to no cost involved for the system. Now, a couple months ago, a friend of mine asked me if I would help him put in a system at his new cabin. Well, anyone who's followed my channel for a while knows that I'm not a nuts and bolts guy. I much rather make sawdust and dig in the dirt. <laughs> so we traded services. He did some mechanic work for me and I went up to his cabin and we put in a system. Well, now that we had a machine to work with, okay, he hauled my backhoe up to his cabin. He had sand delivered. So I had much better material and much better equipment to work with. So we put in a much better system. So I did a little step-by-step -step process of what we did over there. And hopefully it'll give you some ideas for a system at your cabin. All right, folks. So let's show you this update. Once we determined where to put the system so that it would be slightly downhill from the cabin, I dug a trench wide enough to accept these 55 gallon drums that I cut in half. The performance and longevity of a septic system will be determined by the composition of the soil it is set in. The ground here is hard packed clay, which is better for holding water than it is for leaching it. So I dug out all the clay and replaced it with a few feet of fine sand. This will provide textbook performance for the leach field. In a normal septic system for a house, this is what happens. The sewage drains out of the house into a septic tank. The tank has a baffle which holds back all of the solids. So all the solids stay in the tank and only liquid exits out the top. The liquid comes down, goes into a distribution box, and then that liquid is distributed into the leach field. This leach field is a big bed of sand, and these here are biochambers. And these biochambers cost between $60 and $70 each. The size of the system will be determined by how many bedrooms the house has. Okay, so what we are building is basically a miniature design of what is going on here and at a fraction of the cost. Because this is a gray water system, so it's only liquid that is coming out and flowing into these half barrels. The half barrels are serving the exact same purpose as the bio chambers. It's over a bed of sand and then it's covered with a bed of sand. So it's just a miniature version of a household septic system that is used for gray water. I'm using these barrel sections as a low cost alternative to bio chambers. I cut them with a circular saw, but a jigsaw or sawzall will also work. Since I'm installing a half dozen barrels in line to make a continuous chamber, I'm removing the ends but leaving a few inches of plastic around the perimeter. This will add strength and prevent the system from being crushed. I'm adding an upgrade to this one. I remove the bottom from the barrel that I will set vertically at the head of the system. I also cut a radius at the top of the barrel. This will serve as a starting point for my chambers. The liquid will enter the barrel first, but grease and food particles will have time to settle before liquids are dispersed into the leach field. I believe this will add longevity to the system. 
I'm starting at the end of the system and working back towards the cabin. I left the end of the last barrel intact, but cut away all of the others so liquid flows through all of the chambers. I'm using strips of old tarp to cover the seams between the barrels and packing sand tightly around them. I repeated this process until all six barrel sections were in place in the manner that I just showed you. Then I installed a head barrel and filled sand around that. Then I packed in sand in and around the entire length of the leach field. The last step was to smooth out and pack down the trench leading back to the source. I'm creating a good solid base for the drain pipe to nest in, with the pipe sloping towards the leach field with no less than a quarter inch drop in one foot of run. This slope is approximately twice that. I installed the drain pipe and packed sand tightly around that. Since the discharge line was fairly close to the surface up near the skirting of the cabin, I wrapped it with bubble foil even though it wasn't really necessary. Decomposition inside the system creates heat and freezing is never an issue. But what kind of a project would this be without a little bit of bubble foil in the mix? Would you expect any less of me? And the boss out of walking in the woods Living life happy and free Tracks in the snow everywhere they go There's a pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the Boss